Hey guys, Josh Culler here, the host of the Good Success Podcast. Hey, I'm just dropping in here to let you know that we are giving a free book away. Yes, a free book called Active Turnkey, The Best Way to Buy Rentals by Tom Olson himself, the president of Good Success. Um, Yes, I did say we are giving it away for free. All you got to do is go to goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. Again, that's goodsuccess.com slash ATK book as an active turnkey. And uh, we're going to cover the book. So we're going to actually pay for the book and give it to you for free. We're just asking you to cover shipping costs, which is very minimal compared to the value that you're going to be getting in the book. So if you are interested in learning how to create financial freedom with real estate, go get your copy now. Again, that is goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. Thank you for listening to the Good Success Podcast, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome back to the Good Success Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Culler, and today we've got Tom Olson. He is still in Rhode Island having fun there. Got his be a conduit, not a bucket shirt. He made sure he packed that in the luggage. So, Tom, what is going on, my friend? How you doing in there? <laughs> We're having a great time celebrating my wife's 40th birthday. Just don't let her just don't let her know I told you guys that. So um, so yes. So you're uh, officially not on the podcast right now, right? Right, I'm not here. Okay. I did not tell you that she's she's turning forty. Okay. So, gotcha. Um, I don't have a problem with getting older. Like to me, I just feel like God's given us life, and every day I'm here is just another day. And some people they have a little harder time with the age thing. You don't have you don't you don't have that problem yet, do you, Josh? I I just turned twenty five, so I don't I don't even know what it means to feel old. I'm getting there though. <laughs> it doesn't stop though. I, I, that's one thing I could tell you. I remember twenty one, and then I was like, oh, it's coming again. <laughs> it's, I forgot my birthday was here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I could see that. But you have a good time in Rhode Island. Are you guys having fun there? Yes, we went to some. Do you see some of the mansions in Newport today? So that was that was a fun time. Got my wife. My wife collects all of the Starbucks cups around all the country. Mm-hmm. So got a Rhode Island cup, which cool. we actually had to go to three different Starbucks <laughs> to get because they sell out really quick, apparently. So there's not very many Rhode Island cups out there, <laughs> folks. Um, that was the same way when we were up in, um, uh, I guess, the ones that are really the hardest one to find is Alaska. Huh. So when we were in Alaska, we went to two or three different ones and no, none of them have. And if you look on eBay, they're like hundreds of dollars for the ones in Alaska. But uh, anyway, so we, we like to stick those in our, our vacation rentals and um, it's kind of fun thing that, that we do. Cool. Cool. Well, we're, we are definitely glad that you were able to jump on the podcast here. He's actually been a champ and, and jumped on a couple of other podcasts that we've been on. He's been in Rhode Island, so that's good to have him there. He's dedicated and he's ready to go. So we got Mark Jackson on the line, the real MJ, not Michael Jordan, not Michael Jackson, the real MJ. Mark Jackson. What's going on, my friend? How you doing? Hey, man. Uh, doing quite, quite well. Uh, good to have an opportunity to care and share and engage and be amongst you guys. And uh, definitely enjoy Rhode Island time. That is a great spot to visit, uh, whether it's getting uh, Starbucks mugs or the mansions or going to the tennis museum. It, good people. Great marina. Uh, should be lots of ships coming in and out here. Uh, some real nice yachts to continue to build the dream with so without a doubt enjoy that time man i can see uh, the ocean from where i'm sitting right now i can see it it's right there 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 you go and you got to stop calling out the wife's birthday man. i have to live a little bit on the edge i gotta get i have to get myself in trouble just a little bit it's just kind of what i do you have to choose your you have to choose the times where you want to take the heat (laughs) Uh, choose very carefully the times where you want to take the heat. Okay. <laughs> Are you telling us this from experience, Mark? I I, I I live a very blessed life. And one of those things is because I don't go around talking about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's some oh. good stuff. So we're excited to have Mark on. We actually had to reschedule and because we actually recorded a podcast with them. And it was such great information that we actually had some technical difficulties and um, the audio got messed up. But I'm like, I need to get him back because the information that we got out of that was extremely valuable. So 
I appreciate Mark being willing to come back and jump on the podcast. So you guys, you guys are going to get a ton of value out of this. We've already heard this, but you guys haven't heard it. So we're excited. We appreciate Mark coming back. So Mark is actually, um, 1999, Mark founded an appraisal company, which led to his current state of an analyzing property values for investors. So that's what he does. The founder of investorcompsonline.com. And he's a part of several other groups that we're in. He was actually at our community go-giver event in July and um, got to bring some people there. We were just talking about it before we jumped on the podcast that one of the per, uh, one of the people that he brought there actually just got some deals in Gary, which is where we're at. So that's cool. That's awesome to hear that. Um, and so we're gonna come back around to Mark, have him introduce himself, and and then we're gonna jump right in the podcast. So we're very excited about this. It's gonna be some great stuff. But before we get into it, if you guys haven't already, make sure you have subscribed to the Good Success Podcast. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, all the podcast platforms. So just go to the podcast platform, search Good Success. You'll find us there. Subscribe. Make sure you do that. And then leave a review if you're able to. We would much appreciate that. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the podcast and how much value you're getting out of it. And then we got the active turnkey book written by Tom Olson himself. Tom is paying for the book, the best way to buy rentals, and we are giving it to you for free. So Tom's paying for it and you're going to get it. All you got to do is go to goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. And then uh, we do ask you to cover shipping costs, but the book is on us. So make sure you take advantage of that. A lot of great value in there. Tom talks about the five wealth drivers, how to build uh, financial freedom through real estate. Obviously, the subtitle is the best way to buy rentals. So we're excited about that. We got a lot that are going out. Tom was at Think Realty last week in Atlanta and handed out. I, I sent 50 books with him and he said, he texted me halfway through the day like, all of these are gone. We got to bring more next time. So uh, we'll, we'll make sure we do that. But anyway, go pick up your book, goodsuccess.com slash ACK book. Make sure you take advantage of that. And then the Good Success Mastermind. The next event is coming up November 8, 9, and 10 in Miami, Florida. We are very excited about that. Um, it's the total opposite of where Tom is at right now. So he's getting the best of both worlds within the next couple of months. So make sure you guys go check that out. Goodsuccess.com slash mastermind to learn more about that. We do have you fill out an application. So, uh, because we don't want just anybody in the room. Yes, we do vet, uh, your deals, the volume, you know, the, the volume that you're doing your business and all that, but also the type of person you are. We have established our core values of community, uh, community stewardship, growth, and um, charity. And so we vet each person by those core values so that we keep the culture of the room consistent. Tom, do you want to chat about that at all? The uh, mastermind and what people can expect coming up? Well, all I know is I'm getting really excited about doing this boat ride that we're doing on yeah. Wednesday night. Boat ride. And so if you guys are coming for you members, make sure you get there early and get there Wednesday to be able to go on the boat ride because we know what happens on the boat ride it stays on the boat ride. Right, exactly. So, or it can go on social media. Really good networking. <laughs> like, it's going to happen on the boat ride. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. No. Yeah. Take advantage Mark, of that. Mark, you, you've been on some of those kind of boat rides before, right? Where one or two, like, one or two. It's those, those, those little, those little conversations you have with those people. You go home and those million dollar ideas happen and sometimes they change your business. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we, we, we're getting more requests from our members, more networking, more networking. And so we got a boat, we're throwing them on the boat and we're going to keep them trapped there for four hours to just network, have fun. And, um, we're going to be doing that in Miami, Florida. Like Tom said, it is November 7th. So it's the Wednesday before the actual event starts eight, nine and 10. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. Sign up at goodsuccess.com slash mastermind, fill out the application. You'll talk to either myself or Tom and we will get you in there. We look forward to meeting you. So make sure you take advantage of that. Again, that's goodsuccess.com slash mastermind. Then we have the community go-giver event, which we talked about. Mark actually attended our first one in July. Our next one for next year is gonna be June 26, 27, 28. We have early bird tickets going on right now. So save a couple hundred bucks. Make sure you purchase that. Mark, what did you think about the event? Was it pretty good? I know that you brought a couple people with you. Yeah, and first and foremost, just want to say thank you for hosting that event. And even uh, how we got there was part of the Veterans Path Up. So just a great way to be able to have the opportunity to, to benefit both things. One, help someone else, and then get some good knowledge for ourselves. Uh, had some awesome keynotes. Uh, Jim Ingersoll was there. Jeffrey Taylor was there. The amount of training and, and giving of information, as well as the quality of the attendees. There was some good networking. Uh, those people that came to learn, those people that came as uh, as lenders, those people that came to actually expand their business. So I would definitely recommend for those that are any of those categories, novice, uh, certainly successful in business, want to grow your business, 
the good good success event was beneficial for someone like myself that's running a business already and want to get some more good information. And for those that were really just trying to get their feet underneath them and decide what's going to be the next step, it fit every aspect of the business. Great setting, uh, including uh, the ad availability of doing a uh, kind of experiencing the uh, Airbnbs as well as part of that. So Tom and Josh, it's a great event, well put on. I, I would definitely recommend it for a variety of people in different aspects and uh, life cycles of your business in real estate. Very cool. We thanks, definitely sir. appreciate that. Th thank th thank, that. Thanks so much for that, uh, Mark. Um, so yeah, like he said, check it out. Communitygogiver.com. Save a couple hundred bucks. Sign up for that. Early bird tickets are already on sale. And uh, you can learn more about that there. One more time, it's communitygogiver.com. June 26, 27, 28. We're very excited about it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the interview here. So we got the real MJ, Mark Jackson, on the line here. We're going to tap into the mind of this like genius here. We're, I'm very excited about this. Um, so Mark, do us a favor. Brief introduction, who you are, what you do, how long you've been doing that. Sure. Uh, again, guys, thanks so much for the opportunity to care and share. Uh, just uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm a person who loves the Lord. Uh, I've got a beautiful wife, um, wonderful kids, got a couple of grandkids, and those are the most paramount things. I, the real estate for me has afforded me the opportunity to engage in those at the level that I desire to do so. Uh, very simply, I uh, was in corporate and was buying my first home was at the closing table, saw this document that was like 20 on legal paper and 20 pages long. Turns out um, the math that was on there, the digital images that were on there, the database software that was on there were all things that appealed to me. And I turned to my wife and I said, I have no idea what this is, but I could do it. And come to find out it was the real estate appraisal. So I jokingly say I took immediate action and waited three years. <laughs> That's pretty quick. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Until I later, just at a point where I had to step away from corporate, went to appraisal school, and there's a number of things that we'll talk about uh, in a little bit of time that we have today that have been the fruit from making that decision. Uh, essentially, in 99, uh, got started, and for all intents and purposes, the average appraisal firm is 1.2 people. And uh, in about about four years, I was actually able to build a firm that I sold with uh, 28 contractors, three licensed appraisers, and an office staff hmm. doing over 2,000 appraisals a year. So needless to say, um, I would describe coming to real estate from the appraisal aspect was really divine intervention. It's been more than I could have ever dreamed of, without a doubt. Hmm. That's awesome. Well, very cool. So then let's talk about Investor Comps Online. So this is a website where people can utilize to help analyze deals, which is pretty awesome. Um, so let's talk about that. So what can people expect? Yeah, so basically what... Yeah. Sure. So uh, we, we we actually went the route of, um, of FedEx, of Federal Express, I guess you would say. You know, we start off as Investor Comps Online, and then that was some 13 years ago. So now... It was important to say online back then. Mm -hmm. So like Federal Express, even their employees just called them FedEx. So we've shortened it. So we're just investor, investor cops. cops. Yep. And it's that place where you can go to get real estate valuation, training, support, and data. So we actually help people uh, when they're looking in a different market areas, all the major market areas around the country. It doesn't make a difference what type of transaction you're doing. If you're looking at a short sale, if you're doing a, a subject to deal, if you're looking at a pre-foreclosure, if you're looking at a HUD house, the one question that ultimately you're going to have to ask is how much should I pay for this property and what could I remarket it for? And frankly, more importantly, those are the two questions that you should be asking, not just what the value of the house is. You want to know what I should buy that property for and then what I can remarket it for in a short term or even down the road. And so we help investors, uh, whether they're seasoned investors or new, how to actually look at that data in their market area from the county records that include the mortgage, the sales price, the sales date, um, the if there's a pool, if it's in a flood zone, is it in a mudslide zone or landslide zone in California? All these different dynamics, even those states that have not that are non-disclosure, 
We help people analyze and make really sound decisions on property, knowing the right price to buy so they make a profit when they buy. They secure their position in that transaction. And that's been just the biggest blessing for us to help so many people. I mean, from Alaska, I literally, I'm talking like Wasilla and Skelton and Anchorage, all these places mm -hmm. that you wouldn't normally think you can do real estate investing if we're down to lower 48, when in fact, yeah, they're doing deals and doing it at a very, very high and successful level uh, to the East Coast, whether it's Rhode Island, where Tom is, down to Miami, where he's going to be, uh, Texas, the middle of the country, all the way over to LA and the Lamont and Arizona. We, we really enjoy helping people take that valuation first approach to real estate to ensure their success when they're doing a deal. Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, so then, so that's investor comps and yep. uh, the, the website is investorcompsonline.com. Is that correct? Yep. Investorcomps.com. Yep. Okay. Oh, investor comps on. Okay. So we dropped the online. That's, That's what you said. Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we're going to have that linked in the description there. So you guys can make sure you check that out. And if you're listening to the podcast, just go to investorcomps.com to learn more about that. So kind of switching tracks a little bit, and then we'll come back to the data part of this, because I know that that's something that you're very passionate about. And so sure. we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit, but one of the things that we had discussed when emailing back and forth to talk about on the podcast was indicators for a coming market shift. So let's talk about that a little bit. I, I know that we've already asked this question previously when we recorded it. So e extremely interesting answer. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. Yeah, it's really cool because overwhelmingly, when you're looking at market areas, especially from a valuation approach, I mean, there's some there's some key indicators you wanna look at. Of course, job growth and where those jobs are located are gonna be one of the dynamics that actually lead and guide how you uh, engage in that market area. So we always look at the building permits that are taking place in the market area. We're looking at um, asking those questions. How many are actually active? How long have they been applied for? How many are actually on the books? Those are some of the dynamics that we look at. Where's the job growth? And then what's happening with the existing permits or for building that are taking place in the area, both commercial and residential, are really key indicators as to how frequent they are, how active they are, what's happening in the job market. You know, you've got all this buzz about Amazon. I actually live in the Denver market area mm -hmm. full time, but I do a lot of business in a number of different states. And I can assure you, um, Amazon and that other little business that takes place here, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. this joint is smoking, uh, really drive what happens in terms of activity and buyers and sellers in the market area. And you want to know those indicators wherever you are, whether that's in St. Louis, whether it's in um, uh, Nashville, whether it's in Huntsville, Alabama, you want to know what's happening with the job market and then what's happening with the activity and building permits in those areas to really drive and hone in the success of your business as you're looking to do real estate. I was always wondering why you're always so happy, Mark. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's okay to say it here. It's, it's, it's totally just okay. in the air. It's in the air. <laughs> it's in the air. Oh. So wh where does population growth kind of play into that as well? You talked about job growth, building permits, you know, how active are the building permits? How quick are they being done? How many are on the, on, on the rolls? Um, so the only thing you didn't mention that I, I hear a lot is population growth and kind of like where people are moving to and from. Always, 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 always. Um, and it's really amazing too, because one of the easiest ways to track, and you, and you know this already, Tom, in terms of uh, movie growth, is just to go to U-Haul. Call up U-Haul, go on their website, and wherever the rentals are going, that's where you want to be identifying the market areas that, you, that, you're, that you're looking at. Those areas that have the one-way rentals going there, that's a key indicator of just population movement, things like that. Not the only one, but one of the ones you can check quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, one of the other things you can do, um, especially based on the type of real estate you're trying to do, is check gosection8.com. That's one of the market areas where you can see if in fact there's a, a growing inventory, um, substantial inventory in, in certain market areas or where you're looking to do business, or if the inventory is low uh, in terms of how many vouchers or houses are actually available. Really good way just to use some general information out there in the market area that you can tap into very quickly that you wouldn't normally think of, well, maybe the go section eight, but isn't that right thing out there in front, there'd be an indicator that you can check to see if in fact you've got population 
happening in the market that you're doing business or one that you're looking to go to. Interesting. Good. Good so, so you talked about specifically the big boy, Amazon. And so you guys have an Amazon plant where you're at? There's actually two oh. facilities here. One that recently opened and it's actually a test market for droid, uh, yeah, droid delivery. Wow. So it's awesome. right on Interstate 25, just north of town, a little area called Thornton. Huge place. I, I don't even know how many football fields would fit in this. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But overwhelmingly, they're also, um, Denver's getting close to one of those areas. It's actually going to be, you know, HQ2. Mm-hmm. So it's, I, I, don't, I don't know the final running, but I know that there's been a wealth of information here in terms of, the favorable climate, transportation corridor, airport, all these things that uh, would be favorable to uh, an entity like Amazon. So we've seen an influx of just people looking to engage and be here, uh, not only for that reason, tech-wise, and the support systems that go along with Amazon, but again, that that other business that is doing yeah. very, very, very well. That That you have a big part in. Not, not really <laughs> because Mark's so happy. Like Tom said, it makes oh, sense God. now. <laughs> Dude, that was that a good point. Right Tom. Head, <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So, so you talked about, so you talked about those two things in your market. Now let's say somebody's in another market. Obviously, I mean, there's a lot of markets across the U S what sure. are some, so you talked about indicators for your specific market. How can somebody, you t- okay, so you talked about U-Haul with population, but are there any other ways that people can see indicators in their specific market? Well, again, when, when we're talking about using investor comps, one of the things we're always watching for, now I use this as an example. Um, when we were in the uh, mortgage crisis back in 2007, 2008, 2009, trying to recover 2010, one of the things that we identified a lot on our data reports were how many properties were actually foreclosures. And I mean, literally the buyer was the bank or the seller was the bank and a buyer was an LLC or something like that. Um, Where if you had 20 comps, I'm telling you, uh, in some of the larger market areas of Chicago, our metro Atlanta, when I lived there, uh, Houston, Dallas, uh, the Maryland market area, Baltimore, uh, Prince George's County, All of these different areas, Virginia Beach, um, even Tampa and Orlando, and certainly Miami down in Dade, Miami Dade, Broward County. If we had 20 comps, a majority of them were some type of less than arm's length transaction. It wasn't Jane Doe and Bob Smith selling each other. It was a foreclosure of some kind. Okay. And as you watch the market area, as you develop your real estate investing business for all those that are listening, Um, One of the things for us that have been through market cycles and changes, the beautiful part that we started seeing was in late 2011, 2012, the prevalence of those foreclosures or those um, REO sales, okay, from the banks and from HUD started to diminish. So that was our indicator that our book of business could really start getting to a point where we were in a buyer's market area for the areas that we're seeing that trans that transition in property, which also told us now we can go ahead and buy because prices are going up, are going up, more buyers are in the market area, and we can turn those transactions very quickly. Now I'll bring you forward even more. Even as you're looking at market areas to do business in, we want you to be mindful of some of the change and reset that's coming. Okay, overwhelmingly, all of the transactions are are more of the arm's length variety, Jane Doe, Bob Smith, that type of thing. So we want to transition. You don't want to rely on doing a fast flip business that was available to you in 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, somewhat in 17 as well, early part of this year. But now you want to be building your wealth portfolio using that strategy. Tom, I know you've shared this before. Buy two, sell one. Buy two, sell one. Buy one that's going to be some quick money, you know, very strategically in terms of building your capital, but that other property is the one you want to hold on to. That's going to be your wealth building portfolio. The data that's out there now clearly indicates that there's opportunity to be in a situation where you can build a really great wealth portfolio because there are going to be people that want to do nothing but rent. They're not going to be able to buy because prices have basically gone to the point where it takes them out of the market. So the better you're able to be a landlord, 
uh, have that long-term hold property and for all intents and purposes, allow the income to make that a free and clear asset for you and your legacy foundation you're building, the better off you can be. So those are some of the things that you look at from a data perspective on the buyers and sellers that really give an indication of what's happening in your market area, price-wise, deal-wise, population-wise, buyer-wise, things of that nature. Okay. Yeah, and I think you, you bring up a good point, and this kind of leads me to something we just kind of discussed this last weekend in, in the mastermind I was a part of. Yeah. Um, is if you look at multifamily and single family, there is like trillions of dollars worth of real estate that are seeing, sitting in single family rentals and trillions of dollars sing, sitting in multifamily rentals. Mm -hmm. And right now the big boys, the hedge funds, all of your, your, your huge institutional money pretty much own about half of all of the multifamilies. Well, they only own like, like one or 2% of single family. And they've, and they've kind of like stay on the sidelines for a long period of time. However, within the next 10 years, they plan on making a huge chunk of their new acquisition to be single family, but in a big way. So they don't want to just buy, buying like one or two or three or 10 at a time. Like they don't want to move money unless they, it has a B in front of it. So, I mean, seriously, like they, they want to be able to buy gigantic tracks of single family houses that are, that are, in strategic places right now, mostly Midwest and Southeast type places. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about that, I think this is also a good opportunity to have like this back end buyer that's going to maybe it could come in down the road if you have several hundred properties um, to be able to help take you out of those down the road if, if you ever want to. Because I think what we don't realize sometimes is like there's always somebody that's a lot bigger than us that needs to deploy capital. Yeah. And um, they're, they're, a lot, a lot of the Wall Street money is moving towards us. And, and a lot, it's so funny because we always say, I, I heard for, for years and years and years, oh, they're so stupid. They don't know what they're doing. But if you look at what they've done over the last 10 years, like right. who's la it's kind of like they're turn they've turned around at us and be like, who's laughing now? Yeah. And, and I think there's something to be really said about that and to really think about the, all the institutional money that will come our way. Um, right now, there's probably a trillion dollars sitting and waiting right now to get yeah. into single family from institutions. They're gonna, they, they are coming, and they'll probably say, within the next um, ten years, they may take over half of the space um, in in the United States, just like they have in multifamilies. I hear you, and I I believe it 110 percent, absolutely. Yeah. So we've talked about data a little bit and this is kind of pulling off of the the market shift and that whole um talk there because we i'm sure we could go on and on about that so yeah. with data specifically why is why is it so important to have good data like specifically good data because we actually had eddie wilson at our uh previous mastermind come in and talk about and data and how to get it and how to use it and all that stuff specifically for real estate obviously but you know there's other businesses out there that use data but let's keep it real estate why is it so important to have good data and how can people utilize that data to get a competitive edge in their markets yeah it's it, it's invaluable again I go back to the comment. I mean, it, you, if you analyze and know the best acquisition value for a piece of property as well as an ARV, you're positioning yourself to make a profit when you buy. And, and that's best done by looking at not only the transaction date, how much property bought and sold for, but who are the buyers and sellers in that market area, okay? And then you always want to make a really good analysis of uh, the quality of that buyer. With investor comps and our data partner, one of the things we take a lot, we, we have a lot of fun with, is this idea of knowing who the lender is, what was the original principal balance, and if that lender, uh, for instance, and purposes, is a, a FHA lender, are they, was the buyer uh, qualified for conventional financing, things of that nature. So when you see how much that house sold for in an arm's length transaction versus what their principal balance is, uh, if it's you know close to the purchase price, and you're seeing a number, number of transactions like that, clearly indicator, first time home buyers using FHA financing, and you know, you're, you're gonna have a little bit longer hold time in terms of getting the property turned over once you put it in the market and get it for sale because there's just a longer qualifying period for FHA lending versus that arm's length transaction. You're seeing a number of those that maybe there's a 10% to 20% spread between the principal balance and the mortgage and the purchase price, 
Well, now you know you've got a neighborhood of nothing but conventional buyers that have money to put down and are going to close very, very quickly. All right. You, those different dynamics and how you approach your acquisition point, what your holding costs are going to be for those units based on those different buying sectors is invaluable to you. And then knowing overwhelmingly what market area that you're in and what to expect because there are FHA buyers here in Denver. The FHA limit is $417,000. Average home here is about three sixty three three eighty five. dollars whereas you'll have the same type of single family home, first time buyer in a metro Atlanta area. Cap on FHA is still four seventeen, dollars but that first time buyer is only buying at two twenty five dollars to maybe two seventy five. dollars Huge difference, okay? But the same characteristic because obviously the income levels are different. You know, you've got people here in the local Denver market that make upwards of $70 an hour in their tech jobs and things of that nature, where that rate might be in the $45 to $50 an hour range in a Southeast quarter. So use the data the same way. It's kind of like um, the general the general principle, general practices are firm and don't change, but realize the impact it has based on the market you're, you're in as to the type of numbers that you see. Even I had to get adjusted to it when I first moved here four years ago. I wasn't used to seeing the exact same type of house, 1,600 <laughs> square feet, split level, on, actually on a smaller piece of land with the same building materials, uh, maybe in some cases less. One thing that's really unique here about is that on the cabinets and kitchens, they don't put hardware on the doors. It's just, you know, you kind of open the door by yourself. At least in Atlanta, you get a builder's grade cabinet, that going it, you get a knob to open the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, you know, here's a home that was, in some cases, at least 60 up to about 90% more in price for the exact same property. So it really does go down to the idea of location, location, location. But utilizing that data to, to analyze what's happening with the transaction, who your buyers and sellers are, what type of buyer they are based on the market area you're in is really a great way to successfully go through making sure that you make a profit when you buy. Got it. Awesome. So obviously investorcomps.com is a place where people can get good data. Um, is there any other tools, resources that you would advise for acquiring good data in order to use it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, overwhelmingly, I mean, the one thing you want to do is avoid uh, for any investor. Um, we all want to have a budget. We want to get into business. We want to, we want to watch our dollars, stuff like that. But you don't want to get caught off guard by a truly a by e appraisal free sites. Because literally those sites, for the purpose of this conversation, I mean, it's it's a marketing site. It's a lead generation for realtors, lead generation for loan officers, and for someone who's trying to buy a home. And they, they, you know, they provide some data as a caveat to get the eyeballs there, okay? But it's not intended for you to do your real estate business. So you got to make an investment in yourself. Yes. And the one thing we do, we keep it very modest and investor cost. We've got three different ways you can get in, but overwhelmingly um, you want to have those backup <laughs> tools that go along with, and I'll share a website that's just based on free information in terms of doing some investing and finding lead sources out there. But overwhelmingly when you're, when we're in relationship and investor comps, our goal is to help you be successful and not have anyone take advantage of you. Mm. Anytime you're analyzing a deal, you want to be able to determine for yourself what the value of that property is, best price, best ARV. The last thing you want to do is have someone send you a lead on Facebook or through an email, whatever the case may be, and they say, hey, listen, here's a great deal. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath. It's got a tenant in it. Um, the house is worth $129,000. we are selling it for one nineteen is a discount. The rents are eight hundred dollars. It's a great deal. You need to hurry up and jump on it. And what somebody does is they look at the data on the lead and they say, "Wow, that those are really good numbers." Yeah, yeah, I think I want that deal. Well, no, <laughs> uh, you want to. You, I want to say, Tom, we, we use the phrase "trust but verify." First thing, I wouldn't even trust what's on the lead sheet, <laughs> and then definitely go verify by using a, a really good source like investor comps to see what the house next door sold for. And for that matter, when you're using investor comps, you can dig into everything about that property that you're buying, how much they paid for it, how long they've had it, what, who, who bought and sold the property before them, what mortgage on. You can do all the transfer history 
on that property that you can't do out there using uh, free data, which can turn around and cost you a lot of money. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's key right there is that it could it could turn around and cost you money for uh, for using like not good data. So that, that's important too. So um, awesome stuff. So we're going to have to wrap it up here. We got a couple questions. You know what questions are coming down the pipe here, uh, but cool. it's been awesome having you on. We appreciate you taking the time to be on our podcast. A lot of great information that's been, been brought here, a lot of value. So um, I know you're all about bringing value too, so that's awesome. Uh, so, so good success means a lot to us. You know, it's, it comes from Joshua 1A and talks about the, the type of success, the quality of the success. We have a message behind that. It's built around our core values, community, stewardship, growth, and charity. And so even people that come into our mastermind, we're all about that. You saw it at the Community Go-Giver event. The entire crowd that was there, I mean, it was all people that had those core values. And we didn't even vet those people. It's just the culture that we've created. So sure. for you, when you hear the term good success, what does that mean to you? Absolutely. And, and I have to admit, I mean, even when it was first introduced to me, the concept, and that it was scripture-based, um, it meant that this was something that was outward focused rather than inward focused. Um, even Tom, just a reference on your your um, T-shirt, that continuation of good success, the fact that you want to be a conduit. So we're looking to be a good success is that constant, consistent message out there. We're looking to see how we can help someone else. We want to see your good success. Uh, obviously, there's always going to be a benefit that comes with it, but when you're when the 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 leadership of the entity, um, Tom and all the team, Josh, you there, Jared, who, who even helped uh, my, my uh, coaching student the other day, just went through a phone call and asking, you know, how this is something information I need. The fact that you're looking outward and that's been the paramount of good success is what comes to mind when, as I engage with you and Tom and the entity, the, the team members, stuff like that, those things are right there on your shoulder, at, at, right there, well, if it's on your shoulder in front of you, it's right there all the time. That's what I think of every time we engage in, even when I think of the idea, the concept or the words, good success. Fantastic. We love that. We definitely appreciate all that. So um, you got to leave the audience with one thing. So quote, piece of advice, a thought, a resource to you, something you've learned. One thing you got to leave the audience with, what would that be? Well, yeah, I'm going to go back to two, if that's okay. Like, oh yeah, you got two. So go ahead. <laughs> so the first one is, um, just about a concept, just in terms of um, doing work and doing it at a quality level. And then the other one just has to do with uh, just a concept. So the first one is uh, when we're looking and engaging, even at good success, this is probably something you already practiced. I'm just going to put it into words. Is whenever we're doing something and we figure out that there's something keeping us from delivering at a high level or a reason to accomplish a task, there's three things. One, we have to realize that we want to make sure that we have the right knowledge. When there's something you're trying to do, you know, using or fixing something, whatever case, but you gotta have the right knowledge. Well then, once you have the knowledge, then you have to have the right tools, screwdriver, um, you know, you wanna have your full real estate tool belt on, knowing how to have the right paperwork, and how to engage, and maybe some scripts to talk to realtors or buyers, whatever the case may be. Um, but overwhelmingly, and, and time is a tool as well, but overwhelmingly, once you have the knowledge and then the tools to complete a certain task, there's only one reason why you, any of us don't complete that task and, 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 and to its fruition. And that's because you have to care. Overwhelmingly, once you have the knowledge and you have the tools, if you don't get something done, okay, it's because your heart wasn't in it or you didn't care enough, you know, in some degree about yourself or the next person that's gonna be impacted by it. So hmm. I always share um, as, as a thought process, a philosophy that you want, once you have the knowledge and the tools, the only reason that we don't get something done is because you flat out just don't care. So overwhelming, that's the dynamic there. Now I've shared so much of that, I can't think of the second one. <laughs> you said it was a concept, so you didn't even give it to us uh, right there. <laughs> well, I, and, and I share this all the time, and daggone it, I'm going so fast, my mind, I, I'll come back to it, don't yeah. worry. I, I'm sure to kick back in. I, I wanna make sure we, we make good use of the time that we have. Yeah, just stop me if you remember. If it comes to your mind, just be like, Josh, I got it. <laughs> so we still gotta close this down. So I, I actually do have one more question for you. So the other day I was browsing through uh, your photos on Facebook and I saw a picture of Glenn Stromberg at one of the events you were at and he had some flamingo socks on. Yeah. Where do you get those? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He was doing some type of uh, fashion statement and we just wanted to show 
that not only are you in a place where you can get good information, you get some real fashion tips as well. That's so. awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. You got to ask Glenn. <laughs> Maybe we need to bring some of those flamingo socks. Josh. I know. I'm going to ask him next time, like, Glenn, where do you get these? Like, uh, in November, I, I got to ask him to bring some for everybody. Whatever. I, th- I just thought that was funny. I'm like... Man, Glenn, like the last person on earth that you would think have flamingo socks. That's that's hilarious. Um, He's so, legendary. He's legendary. Yeah, he is. So, Mark, so, um, so, oh, go ahead, Tom. So, Mark, you, you said some awesome things. I appreciate you being on this podcast. Thank you so much. Um, so, just, just leave me with this one thing. So, you make your money when? You buy, my friend, when you buy. Yes, you make your money when you buy. Absolutely. Well, there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. That's Mark's one thing right it, there. So you you're your money when you buy. So you're gonna coin that, right, Mark? It's already trademarked, oh. my friend. Know your ARV already trademarked. Awesome. Make your make your profit when you buy. Good stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. So if somebody wanted to contact you, best way to do that, what would that be? Yeah, so absolutely. Um at Investor Comps, we have a support desk. So easily can send an email or contact us there. We're always willing, ready, able to help folks uh, move forward. And if I can give a gift. Yeah. Um, one of the things we talked about in terms of data, even in terms of building your business, uh, we have a free white paper that we give away of 21 uh, bank sites that, or bank sites, realtor sites, um, auction sites that just have already discounted property on there. That is www21, the number 21, motivatedsellerleads.com. That's my gift, Tom, to you and all the folks with good success, awesome. stuff like that. 21 motivated seller leads.com that you can just identify all type of one-off properties in any number of different marketers across the country that are already discounted by the banks or by uh, auction sites or even local market area sites or wholesalers to actually build your business, build it very effectively. And then just go to investor comps, verify the data and know you've got a good deal and negotiate a good deal so that you can one more time make a profit when you very yes. cool. Very cool. So that's free. A white paper. That's awesome. Uh, so you said 21 motivated seller leads.com. That is correct. Yes. Cool. Well, make sure we leave that in description. If you're listening on the podcast, make sure you check that out as well. Uh, that'd be some, some free, some free, we always love free content here, right, Tom, with the, with the book and everything. So free content's right. great. Free content is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Mark, so, so, so can you just, uh, you, you didn't get a chance this time to talk to, to us about like what are the things you got going on? I know you've got a mastermind cruise maybe coming up and maybe when is your next event yeah. coming up? Maybe that if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, you know, or, or, or get this investor comps, like how can they, how can they do that? Right. Tom, thank you very much. I appreciate it. just the, just the open openness, welcomeness to, to offer this information. We do, we're doing a ABCs of fixing and flipping in Atlanta, October 25th through 27th. Uh, we're basically putting it out there right now. We just had a price increase, but for this podcast up through the event, anyone that wants to come, uh, if you go to investorcomps.com forward slash the AVCs, the events priced at $497 using the promo code ABC VIP, I more than welcome you to come for $197. Awesome. But again, we're doing a whole training right from the day we open the doors at nine o'clock in the morning. We're cranking on all the tips to find how to find deals, how to negotiate them, how to get them on a contract, how to get money to fund them, how to walk through those deals and really uh, do those quick turns to make profit on transactions. So that's www.investorcops.com forward slash the ABCs and the promo code to get into the event uh, packed with information. We got some great giveaways there as well. Um, some good information for you is $197 and that'll be all we'll be up to. Invent. We'll keep that open just for the folks that uh, have the opportunity to hear this podcast. And yes, for those that actually uh, get in there and have had success and do money, we do a mastermind cruise every summer. We're actually going to be leaving out of Miami uh, July 13th through July 21st next year, going to Aruba and Curacao, but we're going to have some great speakers wonderful uh, attendees coming on there to share all this like-minded idea of helping each other do better in real estate. So it's going to be a great time. Looking forward to that. That also is www.investorcomps.com forward slash mastermind. And again, we'll be leaving out of Miami July 13th through 21st, 2019. Can't wait to get out there and have an opportunity to care and share with everyone that's going to be with us. 
Awesome. Great stuff. We appreciate awesome. you sharing that with us. Yes, Tom, thanks for bringing that up. We're going to make sure we have that in the description here for you guys to check out. So we'll have all the websites that he just listed there, including the uh, the free white paper there as well. So make sure you guys go check that out. That's a huge value for the price that he's given you. And we appreciate you doing that for the podcast listeners too. That's that's very cool. Uh, so, some exclusive stuff for listening to the Good Success Podcast with the real MJ here. So Mark, we, we definitely appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you for jumping back on with us and being willing to share all is valuable information. We look forward to having you back soon. Absolutely. Continue blessing and joy to you guys. Please give Becky my very, very best as she celebrates a birthday. A birthday. <laughs> a, 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 is that the key? A birthday? A birthday. Oh, okay. a birthday. I got gotcha. you. All right. Awesome. Bless you. you guys take good care. It's always a pleasure to care and share. And uh, anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to reach out. Yes, sir. Thank you very awesome. much. All right. So that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining in with us. Um, some, some very valuable information for you guys. A lot of websites to check out. So make sure you go check those out. Uh, they're going to be in the Facebook description of the premiere video. If you're listening to the podcast, just go to these websites and, and take a look at those. So, uh, make sure you are subscribed to the good success podcast. If you're not already, we're on Apple podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, Google play, and several other podcast platforms. Just go to the platform, look up good success. You'll find us there. Subscribe, leave us a review. If you're able to, we would love to hear your guys thoughts on these interviews. And, uh, that would be fantastic. And then we have the active turnkey book, a free giveaway here. So Tom is paying for the print of the book and then all you got to do is cover shipping costs go to goodsuccess.com slash atk book atk is an active turnkey you're going to get a lot of valuable information out of here mark i think you purchased a bunch of these didn't you at the community go giver event we did i thought we i did. saw you walk away with a stack of these and i'm like man mm -hmm. that's great <laughs> have we you got did. to read it yet absolutely um and have thoroughly enjoyed the content and obviously i mean some of it was to actually expand our knowledge because we do a little bit of turnkey business in ours. And hey, anytime you can gain more information, and it was a ton of content cool. in that book. I highly recommend it. Cool. Awesome. So you can pick yours up at goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. Make sure you guys go check that out. And uh, there's a lot of valuable information in there. And then the Good Success Mastermind, again, coming up November 8, 9, and 10 in Miami, Florida. Go to goodsuccess.com slash mastermind to learn more about that. Fill out the application. You'll talk to either myself or Tom, and we look forward to chatting with you there. Community Go-Giver tickets are already on sale. Early bird special. Save a few hundred or a couple hundred bucks. And uh, you can pick those up at communitygogiver.com and learn more about it there. We have a couple of promotional videos and a little bit of information. Tom has some great speakers that are becoming, which will unleash that full lineup here pretty soon, I'm, I'm certain. So I know he's locked down a couple people, which is really cool. Um, so communitygogiver.com. Again, early bird pricing is already on and you guys can save a couple hundred bucks. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining in with us. And remember to be a conduit and not a bucket. Work to have to give. There you go. Blessings and joy, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll catch Thanks, you in the next one. Thank you so much for listening to this Good Success Podcast episode. Make sure to subscribe to us. We're on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Anchor, or Spotify, any one of those platforms, however you like to listen to your podcast. Make sure you subscribe. And just a quick reminder to go pick up your free copy of the Active Turnkey book. It's absolutely free. Just cover the shipping costs and we'll pay for the book. Just head over to goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. Again, that's goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. And you can pick up the book there. So make sure you go do that. Thank you for listening. And remember to be a conduit, not a bucket.